My name is Skippy, and today I'm going to tell you a little about the water cycle. It may look like all the water in my bowl stays there until they change it, but it doesn't. Some of it slowly and steadily goes into the air. The water you see is actually a very lot of a very tiny little bits called molecules that are too small to see. They're always moving, and at the top of the bowl they can move out into the air and become a part of it. They call it evaporation. If it just stayed in the air, that would be the end of it, but it doesn't. If you look real closely at the inside rim of my bowl, you'll see a lot of tiny drops of water there in a neat ring around the top. It wasn't splashed there, it actually came back out of the air when it touched the colder bowl rim. When water comes back out of the air, they call it condensation. It's a big world with many different conditions, and the water can condense in many different ways. When it condenses in the air and the drops are too small to fall, they form clouds or fog. When the drops get big enough to fall back down, they call it rain. If it comes out as flaky ice, they call it snow, or if hard ice, hail. It's all these different evaporations and condensations that separate the water from the other stuff and makes it possible for some amount of the world's water to be fresh and clean and to be available for its many needed uses such as watering the plants and animals, or even that fuzzy meowing thing, and filling my bowl. Fresh water doesn't condense out evenly around the world. Some parts don't get enough, and little lives there. While in some other areas, so much of it comes so fast that it tears things up and quickly gets muddied up again. What it means is that for all the water in the world, the amount of fresh water that can be used at any time is so small, now if my bowl were all the water in the world, the usable fresh water would be just a few drops, barely even enough to wet my gills.